Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about creation and why we're all here, why does everything exist. And you know, just to say a little something, mankind has always, you know, wondered why we exist. I mean, there's been, we all know about all the theories like the you know, the evolutionary theory and Big Bang theory, but each and every single theory does not actually prove anything about why we're here, why everything exists, why was everything created. And the real only concrete explanation, which has been with us forever, is that God created all things. And we know this by the Bible. And I'm just going to say a couple things, and I hope you listen. Because, you know, a lot of people don't believe because, well, I want, mankind has a natural tendency to want to see things in the physical nature as it is now. They don't want, I mean, it just wants to know that, you know, everything around us is the way it is and that there's nothing, you know, other than that. But that is actually wrong, because the truth is that there is an existence other than us. It's out of our control, and it created all things, and we're not some kind of supreme being. We're just, you know, created by God. And so that's one thing that a lot of people don't want to believe for that reason, and it's not their fault because it's a natural tendency People want, I mean, mankind just wants everything to be explained by physical uh, explanation. But the problem is that you can't describe everything by physical explanation. And so we know that, you know, God created everything, all the animals and land, the fish and sea and what have you. But a lot of people wonder, well, how? I mean, how did he just make himself he just 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 pop in existence and the answer is nobody knows because that is beyond our ability to know that's beyond our mind and so what we do have is the bible and it tells us what we do know is that god created everything and you can see this drawn out in We'll just look around the world, just look how everything is perfect, look how the environment is, and look at how the animals are, and how it's just everything's perfect. I mean, if the evolution theory was true, why then when you make two species, like no matter what it is, I know this is like horse and donkey, and makes a mule, and what have you, but they're similar. But why doesn't it just make a new species? I mean, come on, why, why does it not just do that? Why has there been no new species? Why don't species, like, we're supposed to be having gills by now. We're going to be like Kevin Costner, Waterworld, in about 40 years, because, I don't know, ice caps are going to melt. But why doesn't, none of that's going to happen, obviously, because it's never happened. There's never been adaptation. I mean, yeah, our bodies, you know, we change naturally in a certain way, but it doesn't generate any new function of the body. You know, we might grow a little more hair if we live somewhere colder. But that's probably because we're not going to be shaving our hair when we're in a colder environment. I'm just saying. But there is not really adaptation. You know what I'm saying? There is like, you know, I'm in a cold environment. I'm going to I'm gonna change up a little bit. But in our physical body, we do not generate any new function. And that never has happened. And it doesn't happen. So that evolutionary theory is gone basically and it's just a hypothesis because there's no scientific evidence to prove it thus it's just a hypothesis the big bang theory is another explanation for why everything is so billions of years ago i mean just something happened it's like poof everything here galaxies and all that but the problem is that that too is not proven, and it can't be proven. It's not a theory. It's not scientifically proven by evidence. It is just a hypothesis. So with that one down, all we have left for me for an explanation of why everything is, why everything exists, 
is the Bible, and it's been around forever, basically. You know what I'm saying? It's may not been always on pen and paper. You know, it started uh, with the uh, Hebrews writing down everything. But mankind has always had the word in them. You know what I'm saying? And it's only through, you know, corruption and and reluctancy that people started losing faith and forgetting. And that's why I'm trying to say right now that all these physical explanations have not actually shown anything to be true. And the only real explanation for all of life is that God created everything. And one of the ways you can see that is, you know, look at mankind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look at the way we are what, and look at the way animals are. Yeah, animals can imagine things. They dream and all that. They think. But why is it mankind has the special ability to just create things? You know what I'm saying? To make things, to invent, to think the way they can. Why do they have this ability, this complex ability to think farther beyond any other creature uh, made? And so the explanation is that even in the Bible it says that God created man uh, in his own image, meaning that, you know, we're not gods, but we have an ability that allows us to create and think and do things and have free will, you know what I'm saying, kind of like how God created everything. So we have that power within the confines of our body, basically, essentially. So we're not gods, we're just people, you know what I'm saying? But we have this profound ability to be able to do, you know, what we do. We can create things and do things so that uh, other animals can't do. So that aside, that pretty much explains why everything is around. I mean, why, you know, why, why all the, why life is so perfect. And we need to stop trying to explain everything by scientific terms because we are all missing something that is beyond us and me and you. And it's just, there's just something else that a lot of people are not finding that, that used to be found in everybody. And now it's just for some reason starting to go away. And that's why I say to everyone they should read the Bible. And I want to thank you for watching this video. And I hope that you read and come to understand. But anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.